enterprise does a lot of good in the world, but it also causes a number of very serious problems, including major environmental disasters, major oil spills, uh, toxic waste being dumped off the coast of developing countries. Back in the 1980s, the Bhopal disaster that really poisoned a whole region um, in India. And these accidents often happen because of decisions taken not by the local companies, but at the corporate level in other countries. If legal decision-making is random, is arbitrary, that's really scary. And again, it's something that is most likely to hurt the most vulnerable, our societies, our well-being, the functioning of our societies really depends on having a functional and effective legal system. If you take my course, you will learn the state of the art in transnational environmental liability. But you will not only learn what the law is, but also you will learn how to think about the law. You will learn to unpack and map out complex problems and how to formulate persuasive arguments. Environmental legal issues are very complex. In fact, they are so complex that even judges that have to adjudicate environmental disputes are often struggling to apply the law in a way that makes sense, in a way that is effective and in a way that is fair. And here's where our research is also very important. It's helpful for judges as well, and it helps them make better judgments. It is becoming a little bit easier for victims of major pollution to sue, and especially victims located in developing countries. And so they have a better chance at getting justice, and it also reduces the risk that such events will happen again in the future. And that's very inspirational because it helps students identify how they can think about the law in a way that actually helps them overcome problems and address some of the major challenges of today.